Hey there, everybody. So you may recall from a previous video of mine that I have a large collection of an array of treasure. It seems like it should have been attached to something important. Just a plastic, you know, four. I'm gonna say the damage probably a little too extensive. Extensive for that to have been like a seagull right there, brown rock. So sometimes, you know, this is where this is what it comes to. AKA items that I found on the ground and took and kept for no particular reason. Well, a great friend of mine, the illustrious Jimmy Bunker, has sent me a request to rate a few treasures for him. So let's go to that request now. Hello. Um, as some people know, I find a lot of lost objects at work and um, I like to not steal them so I was thinking, uh, like, see this? I found that. Why would you leave that? So I thought you could rate some of my recent finds uh, and which one's the best. All right, so let's get through these treasures, Jimmy. Um, I'm glad you called on my expertise because um, nobody knows how to um, assign numbers to garbage like me. All right, so on this first hat, we have um, a nice camo print that does add a little bit of interest. Uh, but if you see in this second picture where we've got the brim flipped up, uh, if you look in there, that looks to me like a lower quality fabric um, you can kind of get a look at the stitching here. Um, so while I do think this hat has some some interest, some appeal, um, I do like the shape. You don't see a lot of the sun hat style in the camo pattern. Uh, at least I haven't. So, but I would say that the quality is not going to be the best. Um, still, I will give this one some points. Um, I'm gonna give that one a 6.8. So what we're looking at here, we've got a pair of sunglasses. Um, looks like a nice style. I would say, I mean, I'm I'm a little bit of a sucker for the for the non-cloth treasures. I think they just have a little bit of substance to them. Uh, in fairness, they look like they're in in good shape. Style looks nice. Um, that's a pair you could really wear to any occasion. Um, I will say they're not super, super rare or interesting to me, but it is fairly rare or interesting to find a pair of sunglasses in really good shape somewhere. Um, although they were left behind at a restaurant, so that's going to increase your odds of finding a nice pair of sunglasses versus if you found them parking lot park or one of the more, um, one of the more traditional treasure hunting locations. So that will deduct a few points. Um, I'm going to give these a, a 6.5. So what we have here looks like a ball cap. Um, based on the photo, I, I can't tell super well. I think that's a plain black ball cap. Um, again, looks like it's in pretty good shape, which is nice. Um, but I would say that a plain black ball cap is one of the least interesting hats that you can find as far as a wearable treasure. I mean, the, it, again, it's in good shape, um, but I'm just not feeling it on the black ball cap. Um, I, I would say that that is, I'd give it a 4.3. I'll give it a 4.34. Um, now a scarf is a little bit exciting to see. I feel like scarves are maybe a little less common than hats. I mean, I do see only one scarf submitted for review here. Um, it's striped. That's nice. It's not just a plain color. Um, now I can't tell very well from this kind of partial photograph what kind of shape it's in. Um, it doesn't look overly stained. I don't see a huge amount of wear and tear to the scarf. Um, 
Yeah, and, and it, it almost looks like, and just from this photograph, it almost looks like the stripes maybe don't cover the entirety of the scarf. You can see there's a large portion on the bottom section of the scarf there that is just black, and um, that could tell me there's maybe some differentiation on the spacing of the stripes, uh, which is going to give it a little more interest as well. Um, the color is not super interesting, but a scarf is, is a good find. Um, I'm going to give that one another, um, I'm going to give that a 7.5. Now this is exciting, um, because what we have here is not just an exciting um, color palette, because we've got some stripes, a lot of variation in the stripe color, um, but it's also an interesting style, um, which, you know, that's not just your standard beanie, it's not a ball cap, it's not a scarf. That definitely pumps it up. So, and it looks like it's in good shape too. Man, that's, that's a really good one. Um, that's something I would definitely be excited to find. I'm gonna give that, um, I'll be honest, this one's pretty high. I'm, I'm gonna give it an 8.67. Here we've got another another knit hat. Um, you know, just a, it's a beanie. It's, it looks to be plain black. Um, based on the photo, I do see a slight darker portion. Could be a button, but I'm, I'm gonna assume that's just a shadow. Um, I could be wrong, but Again, it's it's kind of in the territory of the black ball cap. It's not a very interesting style, and it is pretty plain. Um, it looks like it's it's in good shape. Looks like it's got a good fit. Um, but I would say that the black beanie is going to be right around the black ball cap as far as um, as far as value. Um, and I'm going to go with with a. But I, I, I'm going to go with a, with a 4.3 on this. Um, I think that's going to be fair for just the, the plain black beanie, even if it is in pretty good shape. See, this, this intrigues me. We've got the paper, the Prince Philip mask, right? Um, it's somewhat oversized. It's, uh, it's a good treasure because it raises questions. Uh, what was someone using it for? Why? That's, that's a good question for this one. Um, so, it is paper, um, it makes it, or, or, you know, it's probably a thicker, it looks glossy, that's gonna be a little bit of a thicker paper, it's not just printer paper, that's nice, but, you know, it isn't uh, a more substantial treasure or a substantial find, um, but it does have the hallmark of a good treasure, as I said, so this one is gonna be pretty far up there, it is gonna lose a couple of points for the material, um, but I would still give this a solid 7.65, maybe even a 7.653. Um, and we can, we can hash that out later, maybe on some official paperwork. Um, but no, that's a, that's a solid find. Um, yeah, I like that one. So we're back to a black ball cap. Um, now, I, I haven't had this confirmed if this is the same ball cap or if this is a, a different ball cap. Um, but regardless, it does appear to be a plain black ball cap in pretty good shape. And as we established before, the plain black ball cap in good shape. Um, and of course, this would be barring a physical inspection to make sure there were no flaws or um, anything of that nature. We could get uh, any labels inside of it, any dates, something like that. Um, any personalization that was done to the hat would need to be assessed in person. That would be true of just about any of these treasures. But barring any of that, the plain black ball cap is typically gonna run you like that first one, that 4.34. So I'm gonna go with that on this hat, um, much like the first one, unless they're the same hat. And then of course, they have the same rating which they would, even if they were different. So this is the last treasure that was submitted to me. This is a uh, another knit beanie hat. It's uh, striped, though. Uh, that stitch work, or the uh, the weave of that, I don't know. I don't, I don't knit, I don't crochet. The, the stitch, the knit, whatever you want to call it, looks 
uh, like a larger stitch. It doesn't look tight or uh, how do you want to say it? it? It's not as small and tight of a weave as something I would consider to maybe be the standard commercially available hat. So it's possible that this is a, um, a handmade hat, which would increase the value. Um, regardless, it is, um, it's a nice pattern. It's, it's two colors. Um, I like this one quite a bit. Um, it is still just the beanie style of hat, which, you know, isn't the most interesting hat style in the world, so it will lose a few points there. But I would give this one a, uh, I'd give it a 6.8, bordering on maybe even a 6.9. Um, I w I'm gonna lean 6.9 on this one, guys. That's a nice hat. So, Jimmy, based on my official rating system, the top treasure that you've submitted to me is gonna be that striped, what, do you, what would you call it, balaclava? Is that it? I don't know. That one. That's gonna be your winner. Um, followed closely behind by that Prince Philip mask. Um, those are some pretty choice treasures there. Um, so yeah, keep on, keep on hunting those treasures, Jimmy. Keep on acquiring those treasures. There's a whole world outside of hats that nobody is watching. Hope everybody had fun today. I know that I did, uh, even though, of course, this was very serious and official business. Still managed to have quite a bit of fun doing it. You know, do what you do what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life, as they say. Um, but I will have some updates coming shortly about my own treasure collection. Um, I got a few new pieces I'll be showing off soon. Um, other stuff will happen. I'm sure. Hope you guys have all had a great day. Hope you're having a good week, a good month, a good year, whatever. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one, next video, of course. Um, have a good one. So, uh, yeah, hey. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Do you know Ray? Oh, the Bunker King. Bunker King. Yes, yes. What's that thing about him? He's really, uh, he's really cool. He's really cool, he's, isn't he? He's really cool. The coolest guy. He's so cool. King of the bunkers. King of the king of the bunkers. Bunker King. The Bunker King. <laughs> How much are we getting paid for this? Well, I mean, we need someone to fund. Yeah, Leviathan, right? Right. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. Right. He's just. It's I mean, really cool. he's just a cool guy. Just a cool guy. Just the Bunker King. Uh,